Well, I dare say the wind is going to really interrupt any talking, but I uh, just wanted to show the view from here before we go down onto the Seven Beach. Well, having just been accosted by a incredible gang of youngsters who were very keen because they heard me talking to my camera and realised that you doing YouTube, you doing YouTube, what's your channel name? Yep, this is super gloopy mud. Oh, when your feet get stuck in it, it's really difficult to pick your well you back out of it. We've got a bit of sea glass. That's nice. Not quite sure what we're going to do with one piece of sea glass, but we'll see if we can come up with something. We need some interesting footage. Can you slip in the mud, please? No. It's so selfish. So here we are, right by the, quite near the bridge, and on the edge of the estuary, and I've just come in amongst the boulders that have been placed in order to protect the area beyond here from erosion, because this is a very major tidal estuary, and when the storms blow up, the waves are pretty strong. So this is the protection mechanism. And just down in here, um, hopefully we can get some light. And there, just there, you can see a little bit of white that caught my eye. Now, if you look a bit closer, this seems to be a piece of pottery or something that has brought my eye. I'm going to clue. But what I'm hoping to do is, uh, I've just started clearing away some of this, just by hand, but there's some solid stones here that need shifting. Okay. I've now been digging here for about a quarter of an hour or so. It's clear that the large area in front, I've got these two big stones that just aren't going anywhere. Some of those little stones on the side and managed to remove where they jammed. So, an appliance of science. Back to simple basics. I've cleared this area down in the air. I have come up with a piece of driftwood that I just discovered on the side. And a few of the larger stones that I've dug out. I'm going to try positioning down in. And then, as one man famously said, give me a long enough pole and a fulcrum and I could move the world. So let's have a look and see if we can do something, not quite move the world, but can I move this, this, you actually can, it's definitely, it's definitely movement there. Eh? Oh, it's only my wood would hold up. Aha, look at that for a beastie. Okay, um, we've a bit of bad news, we've hit another piece of bedrock there, which is a bit of a problem. We are definitely getting further down the side of this piece of china shell, whatever it is. 
But the good news is I've been able to wedge my way through here and we're getting movement on this stalk. Right. There's another lump of rock out the way. Well, as you can see, the sun is setting and the evening is quickly slipping away. And the view is gorgeous. But the dig goes on because if I just show you how far I've got, we now have a lot more exposed. But how big this is, I don't know. How far it goes down, I have no idea. And whether or not the camera can get a view of the other side that would give us a clue, I'm not sure. But I certainly don't have a clue what I'm digging for. But I'm going to give it another five minutes and then I'm going to have to quit before it gets dark. So, uh, I didn't let the rocks beat me, and I've dug and dug, but the daylight is certainly going to beat me, as that sun's about to disappear, and I'm going to be in the dark, out on the estuary, and I'd rather get back while I can still see where I'm going. So, today, it's been an interesting experience, it's been a real challenge, and who knows, it could be you when I come back again, because I can't see anyone else going for this. But as you can see, we found from something that was showing that much, just there, we've exposed all this below it. I still can't identify what it is, or what it's the remains of, but, well, sorry I didn't get it out folks, but I hope you've enjoyed watching me dig as much as I've enjoyed digging. But now it's time to enjoy that glorious sunset and make my way back because that is not coming out anytime soon okay folks um we have a problem caroline decided to walk in the bed she has got a find there we go it's a dingly bell that doesn't dingle maybe something it's a bell that's lots of tinkle but at the moment caroline's more concerned with the fact she could lose her wellies here we go oh yes he did. that's one Ew. there's two i tell you just a warning the reason Caroline walked on the mud there is because if you look, it is the bottom step. There was no sense in which she was in real danger. Do never step beyond that point because these mud flats, they can cause you to get into all kinds of trouble. So always, as we've done, there's Caroline's footprints on the lower step that's been covered in mud. Here's the walkway and Caroline now is up on the walkway. And for those who love sunsets, as I said, we had to make the move. I'm coming back with tools. I'm going to dig that thing out and find out what it is one day. But there goes the sun just over the horizon. Traffic is still milling along the bridge. The 7S Street is looking gorgeous. And Caroline's not near, so I'll just say, whilst I still think that mudlarking seems like madness, I tell you what, to enjoy views like this and the challenge of trying to get out something that was probably totally worthless but just intriguing it has got merit but we won't tell her all right because she'll only gloat well we're just seeing the last of the sun so probably time to say goodbye and get back to that car before i'm plunged into darkness <laughs> okay bye now